Get ready with me while I tell you things I hate that us big girls have to deal with. The first thing I will say is being in public and being stared at. Now, I know some of y'all will say this is a common thing. Everybody stare. Yes, that is true. But staring, only us big girls, only us big girls will know what I mean. Like, when we go out in public, we get stared at. Like, it's okay to stare, but stare to the fact where you don't blink. Like, what's the issue? I feel like these people don't realize how anomalistic it is to be the sizes that you guys are. It's not normal for somebody to be three or four five times higher than what they're supposed to be. Like, you know, I get it. Like, you don't like to be stared at. And you know what? I don't either for the most part. Like, I don't like when people like just just flat out look at you. But then again, I don't really have issues like that because I look like a normal dude for the most part with the exception of a mustache, which I do get stares for, especially if I curl it up and things such and so forth. But you have to at least acknowledge that you are in a very uncanny position. You're not normal, dude, okay? Everything about your physique is literally crazy. So when people walk down the street and they see somebody that's literally walking around double or even triple, or in your case, I don't know, maybe four times higher than what you're supposed to be, people are going to stare because that's abnormal. Today, I was walking down the street to get a McDonald's coffee and... I saw a 2022, I think 2022 or 2023 Corvette. It was very, very attractive. I live in the hood, okay? You don't see the cars like that, dude, okay? And if you do, you usually see them getting robbed or somebody trying to steal the catalyst converter off the back of them. It's not normal, okay? The point I'm making is if you're seeing a Corvette outside in my neighborhood, there's a high likelihood that there's probably three Puerto Rican guys underneath them trying to steal the catalyst converter or maybe take the rims off of them. I don't know. The point I'm making is you're not normal. You're not in a normal body. People, you 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 don't deserve to have the the people in the regular world look at you like you're normal. You're not normal. So stop acting like you're normal. You're not. Also, that wig is uh, atrocious. The next thing I would say is being judged for wearing what we want to wear. You guys, look, you guys can go ahead and wear whatever you want to wear. You have to acknowledge, again, you're not normal. So when you wear clothes that are like conventionally what normal people wear, like let's say, for instance, what do girls wear nowadays? I guess like if I'm being honest, dude, baggy jeans, Crocs, and a crop top. If you were to wear that, the, by the way, you can go ahead and wear Crocs. I don't recommend it. They're disgusting, and I can see your toes through them. And I guess you can forgive them when you put like the random widgets in there. No, I don't care that you have Shrek widgets. No, I don't care that there are pizzas inside your like little footholes. I don't care about that. It's, it's gross, okay? They're like a slightly better they're uh, they're a slightly better flip-flop in my opinion in my opinion. Okay, you can go ahead and wear those. But if you wanted to wear like a crop top, which you can, I have no problem with people wearing whatever they want to wear within a certain degree or another as long as you don't have genitalia out. I'm not trying to see you know, I'm not trying to walk around and see meat personally speaking or vagina. I know I'd personally like to see vagina more then penis, because I'm heterosexual, naturally, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, like, go out of my way to see dick, that's kind of, that's, you know, for me personally, I'm not really about that life, maybe you're in that category, maybe you're gay, but I'm not, but you can wear what you want, but you just have to acknowledge that y you're gonna be big, and depending on what you wear, if it's tight, if it's close forming clothes, clothes, it's gonna be very difficult for people to look at that and go, <clears throat> It's, it's, it's quite jarring to see somebody as big as you might be wearing those types of clothes. It's, you know, I don't know if you realize that, but it's, uh, yeah, dude, it's like wrapping a car that's like literally demolished in a galaxy wrap. Like, what are you doing, dude? That car is literally busted. You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm sure it drives, but like, are we sure we want to take this car on the road trip? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it'd be like taking a car that's literally wrecked on the outside and the engine is like falling apart and those same Puerto Rican guys stole the, that catalyst converter on the car. It gets two miles to the gallon on the highway and you're talking about, let's take it on a road trip, guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go across state. Uh, yeah, dude, maybe you can take that across state. I don't, I'm looking at that car right now. I'm good. That car looks crazy. The same thing for your body. You gotta understand that you're in a different, you're in a different bracket of person. You're a different human being. And if what you're wearing right now is any reflection on what you wear, I'm, I'm okay with it. You can go and wear it. I don't care. The next thing I would say is being judged for wearing what we want to wear. I feel like... I think it's really weird that these fat people are so concerned with face care, but have absolutely no care about their bodies. Like, what is the... Why? I mean, I get it. It's easier to buy products and then just go like this on your face for 25 minutes. And then, you know, wow, I'm doing something special for myself. But, dude... 
you look crazy. You do know that, right? Like you do understand that your body is literally on the brink of death consistently. And so much so that I feel like the issues that you're facing right now, you probably don't even realize how much of a big issue they are. And usually, uh, medical issues tend to arise randomly out of nowhere. And then you think you're good one day, but the next day you're on the floor and you're crawling around because guess what? Your legs don't work as they used to back when you were like 16 or something like that, when you could have got off the floor at 250 pounds. But now that you're 28 and you weigh 350 pounds, guess what? It's very much more difficult to remove yourself from a seated position or the floor in general when you weigh three times more than what you should weigh. I don't know, but I will give her this. The fact that she is able to eat as much as she is, it is a testament to the human condition. Uh, the fact is, the way that she weighs right now, she has to be eating an astronomical amount of calories to maintain that. And I'm gonna say it again, dude, that wig is atrocious, bro. Them ends is burnt. Them ends is literal crispiness. You need to get rid of that wig. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't it, sis. I'm still, like, I'm confident in my body. Mm, I'm are we sure about that? Whenever somebody has to preference something like this and they go, I, I don't like it when people talk negatively about me. And, you know, I'm really, I'm confident. Like, I'm personally, I know, I know what I have. I know how I represent myself. I'm really this and this and this. Usually when somebody has to say that, it's almost always followed by, I'm not confident. Almost always. So just, just, to, just to put it out there, this right here is most definitely her, like, about to say something that she knows is wrong with her. But she doesn't want people to, like, oh, call her out for it completely. Just a preference. She has to, like, put a buffer period on it. I'm still, like, I'm confident in my body and my skin. I know I'm that girl inside and out. Well, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Let's be honest, dude. What you mean? You think you're that girl is crazy, dude. Uh... Is Danny DeVito that guy? Maybe. I mean, you know what? He might be that guy. He might be that dude. But uh, if you guys don't know what that girl is, that girl, her, she, her, you know, I am her, she is me, that type ideology is basically like a, a woman's way of acknowledging that she is her prime self. Like she is, uh, you know, when you think of that girl, that that is who you are. You're that girl. You're you're the apex of a woman. You, you, you know, you can get shit done and you're pretty well doing it type shit. And a lot of girls like to say that they are her. And I think this term gets really, really blown out of proportion because listen, if you're her, who am I? You know what I'm talking about? Who, you know, I'm just saying, dude. I mean, if, I, if you're her, I'm way, I'm her prime if that's the case, dude. I'm like omega level her if that's the case. And I'm not even a her. I'm a dude, but I know damn well I'm way more her than her. If I'm being honest, okay, I'm just saying, uh, it's just really bragging at this point, dude. I just really don't like it when people go, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, because it kind of takes away, because I would always ask these people, okay, if you think that you are as beautiful as you say that you are, what do you consider somebody like Margot Robbie in 2016, or like, what do you consider like, I don't know, any really, really Halle Berry in 2005, like, what would you consider these women, dude, because if you're telling me that you are a beautiful, awesome, amazing, you're her, you're it, you're an it girl. Who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying, dude? Are they like uh, omega level it girls? Like are these divinity personified? Like what are these women, dude? Because like I, 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 it doesn't track on very well. So I always don't like it when people use these words because it's like, if you're an it girl, if you're her, that's crazy. And I know that we're talking about being an it girl right now. Okay, what do you want from me, dude? I'm in the, uh, listen, okay? I've been around women, all right? I know about the, the cringy terminologies. I am her. She is me. I am an it girl. You know, hashtag it girls do it better. Hashtag black girls, black girl magic or whatever. I I, I don't know, bro. It's just, I, I don't know, bro. I'm just like, I'm, I'm in deep in this culture. Right? But I feel like us big girls get judged for wearing what we want to wear. How come? Don't say it. Don't say how come thin people can wear what they want us to wear and they don't get judged for it. They do get judged for it. It just depends on what they wear. Uh, like, for instance, when Billie Eilish walks around and she wears those really, really oversized clothes like she's Soldier Boy from 2008 cranking that shit. A lot of people do judge her. A lot of people do think that she looks bad in those clothing, but she wears what she wants to wear in the same way that you can wear what you want to wear, and she's okay with people talking shit about her. In the same way, you got to be okay with you talking shit about people talking shit about you. You're not in the same category as thinner people. Thinner people have a wider bracket in which they can wear because thinner people are more accepted in our society because that is conventionally attractive. That is, that is the average human being physique. So we tend to make clothes for how the average human being ought to look. You 
are far outside of the boundaries of that. So when you go, why is it that thin people or thin women can wear whatever they want to wear? But when I choose to wear it, people look at me different. They they tell me I'm weird for wearing this because you are. You're in a different category. You're bleg. You're real bleg. It's not the same. Stop trying to compare yourself to other people when you're not in the same category. I'm sick of this shit, dude. That'd be like a koala going... Yo, man, how come me being a koala, how come I can't wear skinny jeans, but all these humans can wear skinny jeans? Because you're a koala. Because you're a fucking koala, okay? So in the same way, I'm not saying she's not a human. Don't say that. Okay, stop. I know there are going to be people going, David, you don't think she's a human? Yes, I don't think she's a human being. Yes. Is that what you want to hear? She's not human. No, but it's, it's obvious that when you're a different category of human being, it's going to be, things are going to be differently applied to you. You're fat. You're big. So therefore, the clothes that you wear are going to be different. Uh, people are going to be accepting it differently in society compared to how other people are going to. Others that's not our size don't get judged. That's also a bad way to put it. Others that are not our size, so like bigger people maybe? Yeah. It just don't make sense to me. All I'm saying- I also think that's really cap. I think these people actually do know. Oh man, I just realized, dude. She has a Burger City fucking shirt on. That's kind of crazy, dude. Whew, that's a bad shirt. You should not be wearing something like that, dude. Oh my God. I don't know, man. Go go to like Newberry Comics and just get like a basic Newberry comic shirt and just put that on. Those are really cheap, right? Like I see everybody wearing those nowadays. I don't know if they have like a fire sale on those or whatever. But um, yeah, dude, it's just these people just don't seem to realize uh, that. No, I think they do realize this. I genuinely do think that they re they do know. They just kind of gaslight themselves into believing like, I just don't understand. Like, why is it that everybody else can do this, but I can't? Like, was was why can't I? That's like a dude like in her place. That's like a guy with literal no legs and seeing all these people running and going, yo, how come they can do it, but I can't? Like, this is kind of weird. You know why. Stop acting like, stop acting, stop acting purposely ignorant. Like, I know you know why. You're big. Stop acting like you're so ignorant. You're not ignorant. I know you're not that dumb, okay? You, you know that the reason why they can wear shit and you can't wear shit and you're judged differently for that is because of your body size. Stop acting like that. Stop acting like you're playing dumb for no reason here. That's not our size. Don't get judged. It just don't make sense to me. All I'm saying is, big girls, if you're watching this, wear what you want to wear. Everybody knows that you can wear whatever you want to wear, and that's not the issue. That's not even the issue that you're talking about. The issue isn't wear whatever you want to wear. The issue is, how come I'm being judged differently depending on things that I wear? So even in your own video of you talking about this shit you don't even understand your own point nobody ever said it was a problem that big girls couldn't wear what they want to wear you can go ahead and wear whatever you want to wear the issue is when you go outside how are you going to be perceived by other people within the society depending on what you wear and the size at which you're wearing it so like for instance if i walk outside in my bra and panties do you think i'm gonna get more negative attention compared to a woman walking outside like let's look up. if i was in the beach okay what do guys wear at the beach i don't know like a t-shirt and basketball shorts or like you know the swim trunks right what are women they're wearing uh bikinis if i switched it up if i wore my if i wore my bra and panties or my bikini at the at the at the beach do you think that people would look at me in the same way that they would look at me if i was just wearing swim trunks absolutely not you know why because obviously my dick would be hanging out the side of it and that would be very uncomfortable for a lot of people to look at because not because my penis is unapproachable or looks disgusting, but more so people would be astonished at the sheer girth and size of it. And uh, it's obvious that when you are a, a different person, things are going to apply to you differently. And I'm sick of people not realizing this, dude. Certain people can do certain things and other people just can't. And so, for instance, when you're fat and you're walking outside wearing a crop top, skinny jeans and your Lululemon leggings or whatever... Um, yeah, dude, you're gonna be perceived differently. People are gonna look at that and go, what the fuck, dude? I can literally see what you ate last night. I can literally see that on your body right now. Is that grease? Why do you have grease on your chin? Is that ketchup stains? Why do you have ketchup packets under your armpits? That's what people are gonna ask you, okay? And I'm sick of people going, I just don't understand it. Like, I just don't get it. And then sitting here right at that go, girl, go ahead, wear whatever you want. Uh, nobody ever said that you couldn't. That, that wasn't even your original claim. So it's like, it's so dumb for you to even say that shit because you just completely lost the plot in your own, in your own story. The next thing I would say is not being able to work at certain jobs. Yeah, that make, this one makes a lot of sense though. Uh, if you can't work at a particular job, like if you fire for a job application, you show up, and like, let's say, for instance, you need to do a regular retail job. So that may entail for you to man register or you might need to go in the back and stock shelves or you might be in receiving and you might have to bust down pallets or, you know, put things out on shelves and things such and so forth. 
that is physically demanding job. It might not be as physically demanding as jobs were like a hundred years ago where you need to like actually give birth to like a, a child to have that dude go down to go down like uh, chimneys to sweep up chimneys and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not as demanding as that. But it, for all uh, for all like most people, that is a physically demanding jump. Standing on your feet for eight hours, walking to the back of the store and back several times a day. Um, it's a very physically man- demanding job. When you're fat like this, it's very apparent to me and most people that if you stack on an extra two, three, four hundred pounds on top of a frame that is not supposed to be holding that much, it's going to be very obvious that that particular vehicle in which you which is, which is your body is not going to be able to perform to the degree that another vehicle might if it was carrying less weight. And I'll give you a really good example on this too. Like if you were to get a job at Uber, okay? Uh, and you showed up with your car and your car was literally stacked with cinder blocks, like all over it. You had cinder blocks literally tied around the sides of your car on the hood and the back and the trunk was completely packed up. You, you remove seats just to put cinder blocks in. Do you think you'd be able to get that job? Do you think that they would be like, yeah, your car is in good working condition, obviously. Um, the brakes really don't work too much. Uh, like I said earlier, the catalyst converter, the Puerto Rican dude stole that. Like, it's 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 a car. It does work. It might get you where you need to go. But the, the issue isn't that it can get you where it needs to go. The issue is how long is it going to take before this car busts down? How long is, like, is it optimal for this car? Like, if this car can go from 0 to 60 in 20 minutes compared to a normal car going to 0 to 60 in, like, 15 seconds, it's going to be a difference. And most people are not going to want to get the car that is literally physically in being impeded by the fact that it's holding literally four times its weight. It's just not something people want to buy. It's not, it's not what people want to employ. So when I hear people say this, claim like oh i think it sucks that fat people don't get jobs why the fuck are you so fat that you can't stand up for eight hours dude i know your kneecaps is dude the 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 shit in between your knees is probably so deteriorated at this pay at this rate you're probably just grinding bone marrow at this point like you just destroyed your body to such a degree and you're over here complaining about it that you can't get jobs and the, the people at the job offices are just going like this is impractical like you're literally 400 pounds like what the fuck can you do like we're not paying you to be unless you want to show up to like you gotta go show up to like sleepies or something like that. Maybe you can audition to be like a bed, and you, you know, like you can identify to be like a water bed or something like that. And maybe like you just lay down on the floor, and they'll just mistake you for like a water mattress or something like that. I don't know, dude. But most people don't have the dream to become a mattress. That's just not usually what people want to do. So if you want, unless you're talking about that one girl from My Weird Addiction, where she was literally eating mattress foam because she her goal was to actually become a mattress, which is really really crazy. That'd be like a doctor. Like, can you imagine, like, a doctor trying to tell you, like, oh, hey, man, hey, John, how'd you become a doctor? It's like, yeah, it took it took literal years and, like, a decade's worth of knowledge I had to accrue and th- hundreds of thousands of dollars of, of, of debt that I had to go in to become a doctor. I didn't just go into a doctor's office and eat another doctor to, to like, accrue his information. That's not how it works. You can't just eat mattresses to become a mattress. It's not how that works. But anyway. Now, the reason why I say this, I don't know. I'm only speaking for me, my experience only. Um, I have had certain jobs turn me down. They wouldn't say specifically what it was, but I knew what it was. It was because Because you're black. No. <laughs> no, not because she's black. Come on. No. They wouldn't say specifically what it was, but I knew what it was. It was because of my weight. They think that us big girls can't perform a job dude which is not true depending on the job you're going to be severely you're going to be 100 percent negatively affected by the weight that you're at i don't know why these people have an issue understanding that i get it. it's like hard to understand it's it's hard to it's hard to acknowledge because when you acknowledge it that means that you have to do something about it because otherwise you're just not if you don't do anything about it you're just like lazy i guess so most of the time these people will just like they'll know actually why like if you really got into a conversation with them and you really ask them a lot of questions or whatever, you probably will come to the conclusion that these people do know that the weight is negative. But when they're making these videos or whatever, they're not going to say that because they know if they do, then they actually have to come to the understanding that they have to do something about it. So they're never going to say it. The next thing I would say is this hate train that dudes, most dudes, I'm going to say all dudes, most dudes have for big girls, like not dating us. 
there's not many advantages to dating a fat girl. Um, I don't, I mean, we're talking about girls here. Obviously, I think most women don't want to date fat guys in general. I think women are more inclined to date fatter guys because they're looking for secondary features. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know why you would, like, what, do, what am I going to get from dating you? Like, I know a lot of people might think that's really fucked up to say, like, what do you mean? What are you going to get from dating me? But you, it is a really, like, is it more work? Is it more work to date you than it would be to just be single? Probably. It's probably more work to date you. And I'm and that's just physically aspect. Like to top it off, the fact is that that if you're as big as you are, you probably have a lot of mental issues as well. That's gonna be negatively affecting the relationship in general. Dude, it's not a good thing to have a, a woman this big being in a relationship with you. There's gonna be tons and tons of problems with that, 100 percent And if you're like somebody that's very active and maybe you're looking for somebody that's also very active, that's almost to never gonna be happening in this relationship. No. All I'm going to say about this is I feel like everybody in this world should be loved some way, somehow. You can love yourself every night. Just beat your shit up. That's all you got to do, man. I don't even, I don't know what you mean. It's such a weird way of saying, like, everybody deserves love, dude. Uh, it just depends. Not, people literally die alone all the time. So it's not about deserving love. It's more so about put yourself out there, become the best version of yourself so you can attract good people. All I'm going to say about this is I feel like everybody in this world should be loved some way, somehow. Everybody is entitled to be loved or uh, no, that's not the case. Not everybody is entitled to love. That's crazy. Because if you're saying you're entitled to love, that means somebody else has to give it to you. And so if that's the case, then you're basically saying that they owe you it. And that's not the case at all. You have to work for love. You can't just expect to get it because you exist. That's not how that works at all, dude. Does that work in any other way? Don't you need to work in order to receive money? You don't just receive money, right? You just have to work am i wrong so yeah no this is that's bullshit no no you have to work for it everybody in this world should be it's just such a terrible ideology but i hate when people say this shit so like these people have never been in relationships before like if you've been in relationships before you realize that you need to be putting in work there's compromise it's not just something as simple as like i'm pretty therefore i get boyfriends and even in this case i'm fat or like i just exist therefore i get gr boyfriends that's crazy that's not how that works at all and she knows that's not how that works, given the fact that she's literally fat and complaining about it. Some way, somehow. Everybody is entitled to be loved or feel loved. But when it comes to us big girls, it is hard for us. I'm not going to say all of us, but most of us, I'm speaking for and I'm going to speak up for. Um, most of us get turned on by dudes because of our weight, which is fine. You can like what you like. You That's fine. You have your own preference. But my thing is... For the dudes that is like that, that don't like us big girls, and then that's just not, we not they type or whatever. All I'm going to say to that is the girl that you most likely going after can't put bring nothing to the table that us big girls can. That's that is some major incel shit that I just heard right there, dude. I, whew, that is that is actually some major incel or fem cell, I guess, whatever you want to call it, dude. No, that's not that's not how that works at all, dude. I'm pretty sure like, what, what, what exactly are you talking about? You're literally physically impeding by your own body. Most people in general, I know that there are a lot of people out there that think like, oh, I'm fatter. Therefore, I develop my personality more so because I had to. And that could be true to one degree or another. Like a lot of guys that are really unattractive have to be funny or they have to be very charismatic to like get ups in other areas. And it's it's a certain bit true. But overall, if we're talking about like the wider pool of women or even men, uh, no, that's not the case. You can meet a very, very conventionally attractive person that has a great personality, that's very funny, that has awesome like communication skills and things such and so forth. It's literally just a detriment to date somebody that's a fat person. Like I'm not saying that this individual doesn't have qualities or traits that are very very good like for instance i'm sure that she's funny or i'm sure that she's got great communication skills and stuff like that but even if that was true so what there are plenty of women out there that also have all those same qualities that are thinner than you that don't have as many health problems as you that won't be as much of a problem to deal with compared to you i don't think you're really understanding that it's not so much about like you right now it's more so about like i don't want to have to deal with that i just i just don't want to deal with that shit and the fact is that you're in, in, in the, the thing that she's doing here which is like i know that i have more to offer than thin girls is crazy bro because that's not how that works at all dude you're literally throwing all the thin women under the bus because you think that you're more attractive than them even though you're literally not like that's crazy bro that's i don't know it's like the equivalent of like when you date a guy and the guy thinks he's so amazing or whatever because he's funny or whatever. Like, I know what I got to offer. 
that's great. It's great that you know what you have to offer. I'm not. It's, it's good to be confident. But the, what you're doing right now is like you're literally throwing everybody else under the bus under the sheer weight of your amazingness, which is nothing amazing about that. It's really cringy. It's really cringy, bro. Get your shit together. That's fucking really cringe, bro. That's gross, bro. Jesus Christ. Bad. And you know what's, you know what's really insane? She doesn't have a good personality just based off of that, dude. And I used to think like that. I used to think like, oh, the bigger guys, the muscle heads, the guys that were taller or whatever, they got to be stupider than me. No, they're not. That's not how that fucking works at all, dude. Uh, it just so happens that if there's a very, very attractive guy, he could be incredibly smart. He can be incredibly funny. He can be incredibly everything. So don't shit on other people. You're in the same bracket as everybody else. And if you think that you have inadequacies, work on those things. You can make yourself better in other areas. Like just because you can't make yourself taller, just because you can't make your figure more thinner or like you can't get the curves that this other girl has, that's fine. You can do other things to make yourself more attractive. And you just got to know what they are. Know how you present to the world. Know how other people perceive you. And work based off of those things, dude. Instead of sitting here shitting on everybody else and going, yeah, thinner girls can't do what I can do for you. I don't even know what you mean by that. Like, what can you do? Empty out my refrigerator at an increased rate compared to a thinner girl? I don't know. Like, complain that you can't get out of bed by yourself and you need support? Complain that you can't get up the, out of the toilet seat without me helping you out? not be able to take showers like what exactly is that like what can you do bro <laughs> i don't know bro it's just like it's such a cringy ass thing to say that's all the facts that i have that i hate the that cocoa butter right there dude that's that good shit too big girls have to go through um I'm is that a bracelet or a necklace on your arm right there bro what is that i'm going in with this for my strike there's that african Shea butter. The shea butter. My bad. Shea butter. Yeah, very, very good. You can get this at the Chinese dollar store. They don't know what it is. Do, do never ask them at the front. You got to listen. These Chinese dollar stores got great black girl products, okay? I know personally yeah, because I've dated a lot of black girls. You go into these Chinese these Chinese dollar stores, bro, and you walk up to the front like, yo, bro, where's your um like African herbal oil? These dudes will look at you sideways like, get the motherfucking shit, get the fuck out of my store, mother hell. We don't sell that bullshit. Get the fuck out. We don't have any of that African ass shit, mother hell. But then you go down the aisle, you'll see all of it. And it's pretty good price too. Do rags, whatever the hell you want to do. And guess what? Um, so A lot of those products are really good for white people too, or other people. Like, you know, you don't have to be just black. Just because it says black girl sunscreen doesn't mean you don't have to wear it as a white person. You're good. It's good product. <laughs> It looks just like this. But all I'm saying is... I also, I think it's pretty concerning. If you show up to somebody's house, dude, and they got a big ass hole in the middle of the shea butter, dude... I guess she's a girl, but a lot of people are going to presume you put meat in that shit. That's all I'm going to say. I know she is a woman and she may not have meat herself, but a lot of people are going to presume if they pop the shea butter and they look at that shit and it's like a big ass hole in there, people are going to be like, yo, bro, um, you've been slamming this shit, bro? You've been busting it down in here, bro? Why is it? Why is the hole... Why is it in the middle, bro? That's what people are going to say, bro. Don't I, I'm just telling you what it is. I don't, hate, I don't hate or dislike nobody that has their own preference when it comes to us big girls. All I'm saying is I just want my channel personally, my TikTok account personally to just be spreading aware, awareness to us big girls. Like, I feel like us big girls are very much so slipped on in some way. We are very much so slipped on. So just don't be a big girl then. It shouldn't be this hard. Like you're naming off all the defects consistently. You're not acknowledging why these things are occurring at all. You're just kind of saying, this sucks. I don't like this. This is really bad. But you're not going into why this is really bad or why it sucks. Could it be any of this stuff could be linked to the fact that maybe it's your own doing? Can we just talk about how... You being fat, how many calories are you eating a day? How are you able to maintain this particular size on a consistent basis? Do you not think that's anomalistic that you have to eat as much as you do in a daily basis to maintain that size? And then you look at all the thinner people that are literally not eating as much as you, and then you go, wait a minute, am I eating too much? You never thought about that? You never thought that maybe it's you that are doing all this stuff to yourself? I don't understand. Why is this hard for you? It's, I don't get it. Like, it's, please, <laughs> just some accountability. That's all I ask for. You can complain all you want, but... When you complain and you don't know why you're complaining, that's stupid. And I want to be the one to spread awareness to us. And you're the hero we need or the one we deserve or whatever that Batman quote was. The hero we deserve, not the one we need or the one we wanted or something. I don't know. And I want to be that person where somebody looks up to me, like be more confident in their body. Like but you're not even confident within your own body. You're, you literally had a preference of the fact that 
you are that girl and then proceeded to be like people make fun of me people you know mm, people be saying i be looking like this and i don't like that i don't want to be looking like this no more and all this other stuff so uh you obviously don't even feel that way about yourself so what do you mean look up to you how do we look up to you bro what are you talking about if i need to, if i need to look at like a human being a testament of like somebody that can survive severe mental trauma i'll look up to you you know but yeah by the way, this is a disclaimer. This video is strictly my opinions. Yeah. I don't want to hear no negativity in the comments. I also think that's great, but she also said in general for a lot of this stuff. So it's great that you think that all this stuff is your opinion, but it's kind of weird for somebody to go, in my opinion, in general. I don't know. Thank you. Bye. Remember that you are beautiful. There's often a feeling as a fat person, and I think this comment just validated it, that people are waiting for you to finally become thin. Yeah, because uh, most of the time, if you're fat, you're literally destroying yourself from the inside out. So most people are hoping that you come to that realization that it's actually a problem and then you're going to do something about it. But it's fine. I guess just embrace the fact that you're fat and there's nothing you can do about it or you just don't want to change, which either way, it's not good. So every time I go to a family reunion, or at least this is the case for a lot of my life, because I think they've given up on me now that they know I make content like this. But really sad. Every time I go to a family reunion... Damn, I'm that's really sad, bro. They've given up on you becoming healthy because they realize that it's a lost cause because if you're willing to make this particular type of content, there's no way she's going to lose weight now. Be like, I'm going to disappoint them again. They thought this was the time that I'd walk in skinny and finally have achieved it and finally have done it. And people... It's like, it's actually kind of blowing me away, right? Like, what is this lump right here on the top of her head? Is she okay? What is happening right here, dude? Did somebody lump her shit? What the fuck is going on, bro? Walk in skinny and finally have achieved it and finally have done it and people literally are waiting for fat people to finally lose the weight so they can be worthy and so they can finally start their lives and even if you as a fat person don't have that belief that your life doesn't start until you get skinny other people in your life do all up. because if you're fat you're going to be dealing with a lot of issues so like most of the family members or friends are probably expecting you to come to a vivid understanding that you are actually destroying yourself. So they're hoping that you don't do that anymore. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to forsake people like that in your life. Like, for instance, if you have a, somebody in your life that's perpetually doing drugs, like somebody that just can't stop themselves from doing drugs, there's only so much you can give to that individual. There's only so many times you can tell that person. There's only so many times you can help that individual before you realize there's nothing you can do about it. Like, it's just how this person is. You got to get those people out of your life. It's not it's not practical to have all that negativity or whatever uh, people around you that are going to continuously destroy themselves. It's very depressing to be around somebody that's consistently negative about themselves like that girl right before this doesn't seem like she's ever taken accountability for almost anything in her life. I'm sure that she's a great person to be around. But like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, have you ever been around somebody that is great in one scenario, but like almost any other time they're just completely d just terrible all the time? Can't take accountability or uh, whenever you call them out on their shit, they always pivot, they always pivot, they always pivot, never acknowledging what they're doing wrong, even if you try to force them. Even if you try to sit there and go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Let's not go, let's stop going back. Let's stop like moving the goalposts back. How about we just acknowledge this? Like, can you acknowledge that you're doing something wrong here? It's never an acknowledgement. There's always, no, I can't acknowledge that. No, let's talk about this. What about this? What about that? Always what about isms? What about this? Or pivoting or you know trying to push the goalposts. It's always terrible. It's always terrible. Sometimes you got to push those people back. I'm not saying that she's doing that, but... It's quite obvious that if you are her parent or somebody in her life that you think she should be better if she loses weight. I'm not saying to cut her out completely, obviously, but if, if it's that big of an issue for you, you might be optimal to do that in certain situations. A lot of the time. And they will project that on you. And health, by the way. Health. Good behaviors. That's That just makes me want to have the best fucking life while I'm fat and prove to them. You're not going to prove anything to them, dude. Oh, my God. It's such a terrible, like, I remember I was, I remember I dated this girl, and she told me she was dating this guy before me who was, like, an absolute creep and a terrible person and awful, but she told me that everybody who was around her was telling her, it's not going to work. This guy is bad for you. He's a terrible boyfriend. He's mistreating you, and she told me that she was purposely being with him so that way she can prove those people wrong that they would never end and that... You know, it was a good relationship and all this other shit. But ultimately, it got so bad that she had to end it. So she eventually did prove those people right. But it's not about that. It's not about whether or not you're proving somebody right or wrong. It's about are you treating yourself correctly? Are you getting value out of whatever situation or scenario that you're in? If you're literally sitting here and you're going, all these people are telling me that I need to lose weight. And they're saying that it's better for me. 
I'm going to prove them wrong by having an amazing life while being fat. That's great, but it's not going to work because guess what's going to ultimately happen? You're going to (laughs) die. You're not going to make it very long or you're going to have a severely impeded life through the process of trying to prove everybody else wrong. You're literally living your life through how other people see you. That is gross. Instead of like actually acknowledging that there might be some issues here. I don't know, dude. It's just like, it's a very weird way of trying to live your fucking life, dude. It's everything she just said was major red flags. That actually I was living all along. Actually, I've always been here. Uh, actually- but you're living your life on hard mode. I want you to acknowledge that. I would love for these people to acknowledge that. Like when you're thinner, right? Compared to when you're fatter, you can acknowledge that you're living your life on hard mode. Everything that you do is going to be impeded by your weight. Like if you have to, if you live on like the fourth or fifth floor and there's no elevator access, can we acknowledge that that's going to be harder? Can we acknowledge that? Can we acknowledge that when you need to walk down the street or in a supermarket and you need to walk for a long period of time? Can we acknowledge that that's going to be a harder thing? Can we acknowledge that when you wash yourself is going to be a problem? Can we acknowledge that when you're dating is going to be a problem? Can we acknowledge any of this stuff at all ever? Can we acknowledge that all that stuff happening simultaneously is going to be harder compared to what it would have been if you weren't fat? Can we at least acknowledge that? And can we, can we also acknowledge that you're doing it to yourself? Can we acknowledge that you are the person that put yourself in the realm of being fat? No, can't do that. Can't do that. No, I am a human being. Beautiful. Yes. I love when people end off like that. I am a human being is awesome because like what they're basically saying is like they're basically excusing all their bad behavior because guess what? When you're a human being, you're not perfect and you're going to do things that are fucked up, but also simultaneously. So to fuck what everybody is living in that same realm. So like the fuck up, even though it's occurring, are we just supposed to forgive it because it's a fuck up? No, no. Just forgiving bad behavior. Just encouraging bad behavior. Actually, I've always been here. Uh, actually, I am a human being, too. I'm normal. Well... And I will continue to live my life as such. Well, it's not, you're not exactly normal. I don't know what you mean by normal, dude. If we're talking about somebody, if you're literally saying that you're fat, that's not normal. That's not something that's supposed to occur. So that's not normal by its own definition. It's almost like body size doesn't mean everything about you. It doesn't, but it's also a very... It doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's not. It doesn't mean everything. But nobody ever said it meant everything. We're just saying that it means quite a bit. It means a good amount of you. It means that it's going to negatively affect you in some way. I hate when these people have to go to the extremes and go, it doesn't mean everything. I know it doesn't mean fucking everything. Nobody ever said it meant everything. We're just saying that it's a big part of how you're going to live your life. But if you don't want to acknowledge it and you just want to like blow us out the water by saying it doesn't mean anything, which is basically an extreme way of saying like, oh, because it doesn't mean everything, it means nothing. You're basically just... You're basically gaslighting yourself into believing just basically slop. Crazy. And this guy, it was because I complained about a movie being extremely horrible to fat people and also black people and women, but, oh, and Asian people, actually. What but, movie you was know, it? that's an upcoming podcast episode that you should follow me for more information about. Her podcasts are very, very boring, by the way. I've listened to a few of them. Very, very boring. Oh, my God, dude. It's a slog to get through. Whoever she's talking to, like, either... If you're having a podcast, I get it. You want let you want to let the other person talk, but sometimes you need to stop them from talking because, dude, they're going off for like ten minutes talking about nothing, and you need to be the host and you need to go. Okay, let's actually talk about this a little bit. What you just talked about. Stop here. Hold on. Shut the fuck up. You need to actually put down your foot. It's your podcast, right? So, like, I would expect that you're going to be talking in your own podcast. I don't know why these people just let people ramble for so long. But uh, it's because I complained, and. Anytime you complain about how you're treated as being a fat person, well, why haven't you just become skinny? True. If you are so mad about being fat. It's almost like people just deserve to be uh, treated as human, like, no matter their body size. You can't just expect people to treat you better because you're a human being. That's not how that works. That's never how that works, ever. That's like somebody saying, you should respect every single car because guess what? They're automobiles. Uh, well, that might be the truth, but I obviously want this car compared to this car, and I think this car is more valuable compared to this car, so obviously that's not how that works in any scenario at all, ever. So, I don't know why the fuck you would just, you're literally demoting yourself from like, oh yeah, I am an individual to I am a human, therefore we should all be treated the same way. That's never how that's ever worked, bro. People get treated differently all the time for various amounts of things. You can't just expect to be treated good because you're a human being. That's not how that works at all, bro. (laughs) Crazy, right? I'm such a radical. Here's what she is actually terrible, bro. I'm sick of listening to that woman because she like 
she she real deal like gaslights people into believing that what she's saying is like not evil or terrible in any way but reality like she's just saying shit in a very nice way she's saying absolute diabolical stuff in a very very nice way and people just kind of go wow you really convinced me no why did you let her convince you she didn't say anything at all she just said that you should treat people nicely because they're human beings that doesn't even make sense that, like, that what are you talking about so if somebody's just shit you should just forgive it because they're a human being i'm a human being too so shouldn't that just cancel it out why it's not a personal problem if i'm over here existing being fat and but you're not just existing can we just can we just keep it a buck for a second this woman puts out tons and tons of content about being fat so you can't just say i'm i'm sick of these people i'm sick of these people acting as though they're just regular people you can't say that bro you're a content creator you're somebody that has influence over other people your words have more meaning compared to just a regular person on the street saying stuff you're projecting yourself upon other people thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people are seeing this video so when you say when you say this shit like I'm just existing, you're not just existing. You're saying extreme things and people are listening to you. So naturally, you're going to be held to a much higher realm of scrutiny compared to how other people are going to be held. A personal problem. If I'm over here existing, being fat and literally just like made myself some food and I'm eating dinner. I don't deserve to be harassed. It just depends on what you mean by harassed. And then also if you're talking about the comments that you're going to be receiving or you're talking about the interactions in which people are going to make reaction videos or whatever it might be i don't think harassment is good i would never condone harassment but like there's a very big difference between harassment and comments and reaction videos you have to understand that like let's just throw that out there so if you're talking about comments and if you're talking about reactions or you're talking about somebody that has valid criticisms on you that's not harassment that's just somebody taking what you said and going <laughs> no or making a reaction to that that's not how that works so let's be very particular here I don't deserve to be degraded, put down, treated as less than, treated as subhuman just because I'm fat. It just depends on what you're talking about. Like I can't I can't say none of those I can't say any of those things are true unless I know exactly what you're talking about. If you say very, very vile, disgusting shit and you're saying it in a very I hate when people do this, by the way. I hate when people say very di just disgusting vile shit in a very nice way and somehow they think they're saying something good you're not saying anything good you're saying something disgusting under the guise of it's nicely said therefore it's not bad no it's bad okay i don't give a fuck you can say i would rather you say very very hurtful disgusting shit in a very mean very mean way because at least then people will actually take what you say instead of like saying it very kindly i don't give a fuck about that okay so it just depends. Uh, I don't. Th it just. I, I don't think anybody really deserves anything. Uh, you get out what you 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 get what you put out. So if you're putting out a whole bunch of diabolical sentences, can you at least understand that maybe there's going to be some type of repercussion for that? Like you have to understand that there's going to be there's going to be cause and effect to this, right? So if somebody's like dehumanizing you, I would just struggle to understand what you even mean by that. Is somebody calling you what? Like what are they calling you exactly? I don't know, dude. It just depends. I know that that video was more so about like flights and the issue of like buying an extra seat but my message behind that was isn't it crazy how thin creators are treated when they talk about the same subject versus plus size creators talking about the same thing no i don't think it's crazy at all i think that you have to understand that you're in a you have to understand that you're in a different category. You can't just expect that you can talk about certain things compared to how other people could talk about it. Like if a doctor talks about something and somebody that's not a doctor that has little to no medical experience says different shit, do you think that people are going to listen to that person that has almost zero experience in that particular matter compared to the doctor who has a ginormous amount of experience in that particular area? Naturally, people are going to look at those two individuals and deduce that the doctor is going to have more information that's going to be valid compared to the other person. It's the same thing here when you're fat. When you're fat and you're complaining about, I am mistreated while being fat compared to a thin person going, I'm okay, this is good, I have no problem with this then quite naturally, people are going to look at you and go, well, you seem like you're entitled. It seems like you put yourself in this scenario and now you're just asking for stuff. Like, why can't you just lose weight? You can't expect to be treated in the same bracket if you're literally complaining about your own problems that you put yourself through. And the common denominator is you all think that we deserve to be treated like shit just because we live in larger bodies. It just depends. I think that there should be a basic understanding of rights given to people but you have to also acknowledge that there is going to be a certain amount of accountability that you have to take if you put yourself in a bracket like being fat and you're upset that now you are treated differently or worse compared to where the way you would have been treated if you were thinner then obviously that's your own fault i don't i'm not i'm not sad that you're treated differently or you're treated worse because you're in a larger body you put yourself in that larger body 90 percent 99 of people that are fat 
are fat because they're eating too much. Okay, let's just put that there. So if you're saying that you're being mistreated because of that, and you're upset that thin people are not treated that same way, then become a thin person so you don't have to put up with that same stuff. And I know that you're basically saying, but I shouldn't have to do that. I understand you shouldn't have to do that is a terrible way of looking at it because guess what? You're basically what you're trying to do is instead of making the instead of fitting in the world that's already built for you, you're instead trying to make the world fit into whatever world you think that should be there. That's not how that works. Okay, you're literally taking away accountability from yourself and you're blaming it on society, which is never going to change. And if it does change, it's going to take many, many years, if not decades. And to be honest, there are much more pressing issues compared to making seats bigger or having more elevator accesses or I don't know, like having seats that hover so that way you don't have to walk anywhere like it's not it's not practical that you need to actually take accountability here you're literally only looking at what everybody else can do for you instead of understanding that there are as many things that you could do for yourself that's not a personal problem of mine interesting very interesting how is it not a personal problem that you put yourself in a fat body and now the stairs are your arch enemy obviously things weren't like that when you were thinner right no accountability. No, I'm sick of people like literally externalizing all of their problems and like they don't realize that they are the issue. Shit, just because we live in larger bodies. That's not a personal problem of mine. Yes, it is. That's a personal problem of yours. That doesn't even make sense. That, how is it a person? How is it a my personal problem? Okay. Do you all have no fat people in your life? You yeah. I have a few fat people in my life. Most of the fat people I know know that they're fat and they they understand it like this, like, yeah, I'm fat. So nobody's like most, uh, I'm mostly friends with a lot of fat guys and most of them go, yeah, bro, I'm big as hell. I got bigger boobs than my own girlfriend. I get no pussy. I'm fat as fuck. I'm out of breath consistently. It is what it is. A lot of guys just kind of say that's what it is. And you know what? It is what it is. If you're fat and you acknowledge all that stuff, I got nothing else to say to you, bro. I'm never going to bring it up. You know that you're fat. You know you have these issues. It is what it is. You don't have like a mom or a grandma or a what about, what about dad? cousin dad. or a friend dad what about dad dad can't be fat what about why you why you just why you just throw out women dude you think my mom is fat dude get the fuck out of here my mom never my mom's a virgin who lives in a larger body no if you do i pray that they never see the comments that you leave on tiktok you're gross uh you're just a fucking gross person that is a gross statement that is a absolute deplorable fucking statement dude you are a disgusting human being for that can we just uh, Dude, you literally, what you just basically said was, I know you're telling me truth right now, and even though I don't register it as truth, you are a vile person because if your mom saw this, she would think you're less of a human being or your mom would think that you're a deplorable human. I hope your mom doesn't see these shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you think my mom is so stupid that she would believe your disgusting claims of whatever the fuck you're saying? Do you not think that most people are deducing that being fat is not good? Are you fucking stupid? Are you actually dumb? That was a terrible statement. You should delete this video. That was a actually terrible statement statement that you just said what the fuck are you talking about right now don't throw my family under the bus because you you think in a mentally deplorable way lives in a larger body if you do i pray that they never see the comments that you leave on tiktok i pray that the human race doesn't see this bro because the way that you're speaking right now is deplorable against most human beings mental capacity but it's great it's either way it's, it's great content because you guys are literally cringy to the next degree and you guys can't take accountability so it's fun for me it's okay for me but uh yeah you're saying actually terrible stuff and you also are projecting od here you're literally exactly what you're saying that this person's comment is i want to talk about how plus size people are harassed while average size people are praised when it comes to speaking up about y'all are just absolutely proving her point in the comments and you can say all day that it's because the thin person is just pointing out how airplane seats are small and uncomfortable and she is actually pushing for change to get airlines to adopt something similar to the policy that Southwest already has. If a thin person is having a problem with the seats, that's a big problem because that tells me that those seats are actually those are those are actually small seats so these are issues okay if a fat person is telling me they have a problem with the seats then i know they're just fat there's going to be different ways that people are going to be able to interpret that um that'd be like shaquille o'neal having a problem with the fact that when he gets into his car he doesn't have enough leg room yes i know you're a fucking abnormally sized human being it's going to be difficult for you to fit in almost anything but you know what shaquille o'neal does he finds things in vehicles or suits or clothes that are going to fit him because he knows he's an anomaly. He knows he's an out. He knows he's, he's persona non grata in the spectrum of human beings, right? He's a no, he's not normal. So in the same way that if a normal sized human being had a problem with something that was supposed to be made for normal sized human beings, then we know it's an issue. If you as a fat person are having a problem with the seats, I don't care. That just means you're fat. I, you're going to have a problem with literally everything that you sit in. It's just what it is. Yeah, Southwest already has a policy, a customer of size policy, 
where you can either pre-purchase a second seat and get it refunded after your flight, or go up to them at the check-in desk and be like, hey, I need an extra seat. And they- I, I think it's crazy that you can just go up there and be like, hey, I need an extra seat. And they're like, yup, no problem, dude. Can I do that? I just want to know like if I can get a free seat just because I exist, dude. Um, also, if you're going to be a fat person, and this is crazy, I have to even say this, dude. You should probably make sure you buy that pre-seat uh, before the flight. Because, dude, if that flight is already pre-booked and it has like no free seats at all, you're fucked. You're literally going to have to sit there big as hell, big backed, big bellied, and big as fuck. Um, in that one seat, sloshing over onto the next person's seat. It's going to be uncomfortable for everybody, okay? So take accountability and buy the seat beforehand, if that is the case, okay? And you'll get refunded by Southwest, which is, you know, it's crazy that I have to tell you this, but this woman's giving bad information. It will give you one as long as the flight's not full. Which is not something you want to do. Just put, just buy it before. Y'all act like this is a really new concept. And getting free stuff because you're doing bad things? <laughs> no one should get anything for free. But if it's gonna take 8 million years to build new planes that are roomier just because- So you're acknowledging you're getting it for free for doing literally nothing. Actually doing the negative thing. You're literally hurting yourself as a, and then the consequence of that is like you're getting something for free. Okay. Airlines are greedy and have shrunk seats four inches in the last like 20 years. Agreed, yes, they are greedy and they're trying to make as much money as humanly possible. So let me ask you something. If we did increase the prices of the seats, right? My bad, if we did increase the size of the seats, do you think that those seats will become more or less money? Do you think that the price of that ticket will be more or less in terms of financial value? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, bro. It's very easy to be like, we should do certain things, but not actually look at what the cause and effect of that particular thing is going to be. You know, like it's just obvious to me that that shit's going to go up. Then that's what we got to do. Yeah, it's definitely what we got to do. Factual statement, dude. Just make everything bigger. And then you know what? Forget about the price. We Just maintain price. That's what it is. Shrunk seats, four inches in the last like 20 years. Then that's what we got to do. We need to have a little, a little chat. Specifically about the video that I This woman's got some crazy eyes, bro. I don't know about that, bro. She kind of creeping me the fuck out. Something about her, dude. I don't like it. I also don't like the way her nails are done. I don't like that shit at all. Too many rings too. It's weird. We need to have a little, a little chat. Specifically about the video that I said, I revealed to everyone that I'm fat. <laughs> fat, I know, shocking. Most of the comments were nice and lovely and wonderful. And I think a lot of you meant well. I think a lot of you meant well, but there's one comment in particular that really gets under my skin. You have the best of intentions when you say, don't call yourself fat, you're beautiful. Honey, <laughs> baby, listen, I never said I was ugly. Yeah, uh, but nobody said that you were ugly. They just said you're not fat, you're beautiful. So I don't even know why you're bringing in ugly. There's two, end of, there's two ends of the spectrum. There's beautiful and then there's ugly, okay? And there are things in between, of course. Um, there could be, you know, beautiful and then maybe cute and then maybe sexy and maybe hot. And there are other things, obviously, that you could say. And on the other end, there is deplorable, disgusting, God damn. Sure, there are other things that you could say about somebody. So when you say, I never said I was ugly, nobody said that you were ugly. We just said that you were fat. And that means that you are also beautiful too. Like you can, you know, like, oh, wow, you're not fat. You're beautiful, right? So I know what you're saying, but also simultaneously, nobody ever said that you were ugly because that's the opposite end of beautiful. You could be somewhere in the middle and it's probably more towards the <gasps> um, side of things. So that's fine, but we have to at least acknowledge that when you're fat, that's going to severely negatively affect your good looking standards. Factual statement on that. I don't care what anybody says. If you're fat, there are very few times that when you gain extra weight, now keep in mind, I said extra weight, meaning that if you are somebody that is of average weight and you gain more, then yes, you are going to diminish very most of the time this is going to happen you're going to diminish your good looks and if you're somebody that needs to gain weight that's fine you're good you needed to gain weight it is what it is but it's going to be very few times that you get more attractive after gaining weight extra weight so just want to point that out i know i know i'm not ugly yeah nobody said that you were though come here you can be fat and pretty at the same time Time. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's probably a few people out there that might be fat and pretty, but uh, is that really what we want to bank on? Is that really what we're gambling on right now, dude? You really want to try to find somebody that's fat and pretty? I mean, I'm sure it happens, but uh, given the, what I just said, I'm sure that, that that fat person that's pretty was probably realistically here 
very beautiful when they were thinner. So yes, but they are debuffing themselves. They're literally taking what they had and they're turning that 10 into a four. So I'm sure that that beautiful, or sorry, that pretty person as a fat person was probably like a seven or an eight if they were not fat. But yeah, go off queen, I guess, bro. Why do you look like this, bro? I know. It's a revelation, guys. It's a revelation. If I call myself fat, I'm not being derogatory towards myself. It, it is just a descriptor. that I You can look at it as a descriptor, but most people that see a fat... If most people say, like, you're fat, most people are looking at it as, that, as, a, as a bad thing because it is a bad thing. It's not a good thing to be overweight. So that's, like, why most people are saying that. But it's great if you don't look at it as a good... Uh, that's fine. You have convinced yourself of hogwash. But I am using to describe how I look. So, friends, in the future, let's remember, fat does not always equal ugly. Just like thin doesn't always equal beautiful. But, friends... But when you're thinner, you have more beauty cues because we can actually determine how your body looks. So there's more, it's a higher likelihood of somebody being thinner and beautiful compared to somebody being fat and beautiful. Factual statement. No matter if you're fat or you're thin, we are all beautiful in our own way. Well, in what way are we talking about, dude? Like, are we talk about that guy that like beats off into a jar. Is he beautiful in his own way? What about the guy that like collects his own toenails and throws them at people when he's like walking or driving down the street, just fucking toss them out the jar or something like that? What about like that? What about that rich millionaire dude that like buys a limousine and like stands outside the 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 sunroof of the limousine, tossing cheeseburgers at homeless people? Is that guy beautiful? I guess maybe there are. Yes, you're beautiful in your own way, but it's also like a super. It's not, it's not, it's not a good, it's not a good statement. If you were with somebody and then they asked you like, am I beautiful? And then they go, you're beautiful in your own way. I'm looking at that person like, what the fuck you just say, bro? What the hell you just say about me, bro? I'm looking at that as a disrespectful comment. What do you mean I'm beautiful my own way? Why am I not just beautiful in general? Are you trying to tell me that I'm literally busted? Are you telling me I'm bust, I'm bugly? You better let me know right now, bro. We about to throw hands, dude. And I don't play fair. I got a knife. So I don't know, dude. It's not a good, it's, not, it's just not a good thing. It's just, uh, to be honest, dude, it was not even a good statement for her own thing because she's trying to say that you could be fat and objectively beautiful. But then she sit there and goes, but you could be beautiful in your own way, which is defeating the entire purpose. But friends, no matter if you're fat or you're thin, we are all beautiful in our own way. And at the end of the day, life ticks life away. It's so unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Or you're thin. We are all beautiful in our own way. And at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter what you look like. It matters that's here's how you treat people. That's also not true. Uh, fine. Yep. It matters how you treat people, even though you're literally trying to convince people that fat people be beautiful, and this is like your main argument. And at the end, you just literally say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna debunk my own argument. It doesn't matter if I look good or bad anyway. So fuck it. You know it is what it is." Which is obviously not true. We know that if you're beautiful, there is a higher likelihood of you acquiring positions, relationships, or other things in life. So pretty privilege does exist. Okay, I don't know what to fucking tell you, dude. Ask anybody that's very, very beautiful. They have different experiences compared to you. Much different experiences where they're getting way more shit than you just for existing. So anyway, this woman is stupid. But it doesn't matter. You're not stupid. You're an amazing person. You smell really great too, by the way. Wow, your eyebrows? Oh, they smell really good. How do you lubricate them? What do you put on that? Nothing? Just your skin, huh? I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that right now. If I was a camel, if I was a cannibal, you would be top of the menu. But I would never do that because I'm not a cannibal. But I am very interested in indulging in the look sensations of your skin. I like looking at you and seeing with all that beautifulness on you and then just like in taking it with my eyes. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's awesome. Please exist for the rest of your life so I can be with you forever. Anyway, um, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. If you liked today's video, I appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things help me grow in the algorithm. So it would help. It would if you. It would help if you could do any of that stuff. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. You guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular specimens of human being. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below. But typing in frog because they deserve some praise. They're beautiful creatures. They have legs. They make noises and they do stuff. And the videos of frogs eating stuff is it's always great. It's always great to watch frogs battle for. Eating anything. It's always great to see three frogs and you put one thing of food in front of them because they get so mad at each other when one of them eats it. And they just look at each other like, bro, what the fuck? You, you just ate that shit, bro? Without me eating it first? You fucking bit. Like, people, literally, they, they do that shit. They have arguments. They talk to each other. I'm convinced that we need, like, a whole reality TV show just about frogs and how they eat. It's going to be great. Trust me. But anyway, guys, we're going to end it here. If you want to check my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.